So this is what I just got in the mail. It doesn't say who it is from or who sent it. So I'm assuming <laughs> just the local community. And it says, are you ready for a trick or treat? Thursday, October 31st from 4 p.m. And now the purpose of the balloon <laughs> is, is that uh, at the bottom it says, place balloon at your letterbox if you're happy to be visited. Everyone welcome to get out and enjoy the fun. So yeah, cool, great idea. This is actually very interesting that this was put in my uh, in my mailbox because obviously Halloween is coming up. Today is Tuesday, 29th, and so it's only two days, two days away. I did get supplies, so I am actually ready for um, trick-or-treaters. I did in fact put some treats on my shopping list, so they are here. However, my personal relationship with uh, trick-or-treating and Halloween is a little bit complicated. And I do realize just how much the Americans love Halloween, dressing up, decorating their homes, going trick-or-treating, having parties, but I didn't grow up with any of that. So I currently live in Australia where there isn't a big tradition around Halloween, although, you know, it's coming, it is being brought in more and more this, you know, now, but majority of the population don't embrace Halloween. So it's only a minority that actually uh, does decorate and, you know, make an effort for Halloween. But where I actually grew up, I was born in Poland and I grew up in Poland. There is no Halloween there. I grew up with not so much Halloween, but the Day of All Saints. And that's a day on the 1st of November, actually. So the following day. That's the day where we don't have parties, but we go to the cemeteries. So we bring flowers or candles or both, and we come over and we remember our dead loved ones and we pray on their graves or just talk to them uh, and just, just celebrate those who have passed. Many people, the more religious ones, will also go to church uh, and attend the mass, but the general feel of that day is pretty solemn. There's a sense of grief and sadness for those um, that we loved and lost. But we've obviously also been watching American movies. <laughs> so we've seen the, the parties that you guys have or the kind of decorations that you put up around, you know, in and around your house and the kind of things that you do for Halloween. So that kind of um, habits or this kind of traditions, like they have been coming more and more to Europe and to Australia as well. And I have been to actually to different dress up parties over the years, but not that many, maybe a handful, you know, over my entire life. So it's definitely not something <laughs> that has ever played any sort of big role in my, uh, in my life in any kind of a way. And someone, very interestingly <laughs> and very appropriately, some, someone recently sent me an, um, a link to an article basically saying, uh, I think the title was Australians are spooked by American Halloween, which I thought was very <laughs> interesting, interesting topic. So I read it and I found it fascinating that as people are embracing the tradition of decorating with scary objects for Halloween, there's been a bit of a pushback in Australia because people have actually complained in different places where the decorations got too much for their sensitivities and for their nervous systems. So it has actually happened that different businesses had to take down certain decorations because, <laughs> because of the complaints that they were they were receiving. I don't personally decorate the house. I don't do anything for Halloween other than grabbing a bag of sweets for the potential um, trick or treaters. But if there's a party around, if my friends are having a party, if I'm invited somewhere, I'll make an effort. Like I'll dress up, I'll go, I'll have fun. Sure, absolutely. But I personally never had a party and I'm not really anticipating that I would actually have a party, Halloween party in my home. But another interesting thing I found in this article was that certain people are actually quite against um, the Halloween tradition and they have been putting signs on their doors on 31st of October saying, please don't knock, we do not celebrate Halloween. And please, please, please don't hate me for it, but I actually 
don't think that is such a bad idea and maybe maybe not this year but maybe next year you know because i already have the treats for the kids <laughs> But I might consider it next year because okay, hear me out. This is um, this like these these are the kind of experiences that I have been having with trick or treaters in Australia over the years. Either nobody shows up, so I end up with all these sugary treats that I wouldn't normally buy for myself. I don't keep things like that in my home. I prefer not to eat them. But then once I have them, I obviously am gonna end up eating them. So there's that. Secondly, because I move so much in my life, it's not like any of the people who are gonna knock on my door, I'm gonna be familiar with. So these are just gonna be strangers bringing kids for me to feed candy. <laughs> That's not, not a bad thing. Like I don't have an issue with, you know, giving candy out to, to some lovely kids, especially if they made an effort and they, you know, have dressed up and it's gonna be special for them, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, no problem, I can participate in that. But that's not the kind of people that usually knock on my door or mostly knock on my door. Most often, I've actually just had kind of young teenagers, boys, it's always boys, who come over not dressed up at all and just ask for candy. Again, not a big deal. I mean, I've got the candy if, you want it, you know, come on over, like I'll give you the candy. But it just feels a little opportunistic of them. You know, they didn't even make an effort. They're just going from home to home to get candy for nothing. And it's not even in keeping with the spirit of, of the Halloween. So that I feel just a little bit uncomfortable with and like I'm being taken advantage of a little bit. Not hugely, but still, it's not quite what, the idea here was. I'm assuming I would feel very different about it if I was getting, you know, parents with kids, kids dressed up in all sorts of different ways that, you know, we could have a little chat about things. But the reality of it for me is that I just get interrupted um, because it is my Thursday night, I'm doing things at home. This year it's, it's Thursday. But, you know, I get these knocks on the door and so I have to interrupt what I'm doing in order to go and entertain somebody else's idea of what they want to do on Halloween. And I have full respect, you know, for anybody who wants to celebrate Halloween and have a wonderful experience. Oh my God, yes, perfect. Have fun, enjoy, celebrate. But it just feels like there's nothing in it for me if that's how Halloween goes down in Australia. So again, please don't hate me. I know that majority of my audience is American and that you grew up with these kind of traditions and this is what you've been doing as kids and now you take your kids treat or treating. So, so you know, it is something that is part of your upbringing and your culture, etc. But it just has never been for me. So I'm trying to adopt something that we are now bringing here into Australia and I'm just finding that I'm not having as much fun <laughs> as I would ideally like with this. On another note, I've been doing something new, some oh, something that I used to do and I found, so this is completely now <laughs> changing topic, but I bought myself a notebook. So I've got a notebook now. And what I've been doing with the notebook, hold on, this is very hard with one hand, <laughs> is I've been writing down things for every day, like priorities, things I want to do or get done every day, and then crossing them out in order to keep myself, I guess, more intentional, more accountable, and more organized around my day. I find this so helpful <laughs> and really life-changing because, you know, if you work from home and you work for yourself the way I do, it is so easy to kind of, you know, just get lost in what's actually important and what's not and just keep doing things because they come to mind as opposed to actually prioritizing things and being properly creative and productive in your day. So I particularly found it really painful that I've been wanting to start working on a new online course for my sex education business. Uh, I've had this idea for a new online course for close to a year now and I've been thinking about doing it but I just never happened. You know, I've been busy with other things, I've been prioritizing other things. There have been other urgent things like buying a house and settling back in, in Melbourne and organizing my life here. But I've been just getting very annoyed with myself because 
thing that is so important to me, creating a new online course, just hasn't been happening. So I've been putting that <laughs> in my uh, in my list, and there it's already happening. It's in the works. I am very excited. I'm going to start filming soon. And yeah, and then I'm hoping to release the new online course before Christmas. I do love creating content. It's obviously <laughs> how I build or what I build my, my business around. Creating content on YouTube, creating online courses, online programs that uh, give amazing value to, um, to my students and people who enroll in those courses. So uh, um, yeah, it is a big priority in my life to be creative, to be productive, to be... Uh, making progress in the kind of projects that are important to me, like a new online course. And while I am not going to be decorating my house for Halloween, but I've been doing other things um, in terms of decorating. <laughs> so I put a mirror next to my front door um, for the purpose of checking out my, uh, my look before I go. And another thing that I've been wanting to finish is this gallery wall. So this is meant to be a bit of a gallery wall. It's not gonna be much bigger than this because I do have a plan for this space already. I want to hang a plant here, but I do want to add just a few more pictures. And these are actually mainly postcards that I am framing and hanging, obviously, except for, for this one. Uh, this is like a metal, uh, plaque like this one and uh, I just you know got a few of those <laughs> because they're really really cool so I've put them in different spots I hang I put one on the wall here and I've got one sitting behind the, the water so that is or has been living here let's see if I can untick one more item on my on my to-do list and maybe um, add a bit more to my gallery wall <laughs> 